Just by comparing the one-shot sequences in Goodfellas and The Irishman and knowing nothing else, would you have known it was directed by the same person? Several directors use the one-shot sequence, and for good reason. Martin Scorsese is famously known for the one-shot sequence he used in the iconic mob film Goodfellas, released in 1990. A technique he used again in his most recent film, The Irishman, released nearly 30 years later in 2019. In today's video, we'll take a look at why these two films have such different one-shot sequences and what they add to the movie experience. From tracking shots through the wilderness to slow pans across the futuristic skyline, the use of one-shot sequences in movies can be a powerful tool for filmmakers to immerse their audience in a particular world or moment. What is a one-shot sequence? In the world of filmmaking, one of the most captivating techniques used to fully engage you, the audience, in a story is the one-shot sequence. This is a continuous shot that lasts for an extended period of time, giving the impression that you are witnessing events unfolding in real time. While both films feature stunning examples of this technique, they differ greatly in their execution. What makes the one-shot so effective? Let's get to know more about this technique. Scorsese's one-shot sequences are a signature element of his filmmaking style, and they have a powerful effect on the audience. One-shot sequences can create a sense of losing yourself in the world of the film, allowing you to feel like you are right there with the characters. The camera moves seamlessly through the space, and the lack of cuts can make the scene feel more realistic and immediate. You are engulfed in tension and suspense, particularly if this technique is used in scenes with high stakes or danger. The lack of cuts means that you have no escape from the tension, and the camera movement can add to the sense of urgency and danger. You are also given an intense emotional impact through the one shot. For example, a long take that follows a character through a particularly emotional moment can allow you to feel more connected to the character and their experience. Who can forget the one-shot sequence in Goodfellas? It's the famous scene where Henry Hill takes his girlfriend, Karen, on a first date, but instead of waiting in line to get through the front door, Henry goes through the back entrance of a New York restaurant called the Copacabana. The sequence is a shot in one continuous take, with the camera following Henry and Karen as they go through the kitchen, down a service entrance, and finally into the main room of the club, which is packed to the rafters, and where they are greeted by waiters and ushered to a table in the front row. The one-shot sequence is significant because it showcases Henry's status as a connected mobster and his ability to manipulate the world around him to get what he wants. It also represents the allure of the mob lifestyle and the thrill of breaking the rules and living outside of society's norms. How did this scene in Goodfellas make you feel? If you answered, like a gangster, then it worked. As for the Irishman's one-shot sequence, the one-shot sequence of the nursing home at the beginning of The Irishman serves as a framing device for the entire film, exploring the passage of time and the consequences of an aging hitman's actions. It sets up the central themes of aging, memory, and regret. The scene depicts an elderly Frank Sheeran, played by Robert De Niro, in a nursing home, reflecting on his life and the choices that have led him to this point. Through his interactions with the other residents and the staff, you get a sense of Sheeran's isolation and the toll that his violent past has taken on him. The nursing home sequence also introduces the character of Father Brendan, who becomes an important figure in Sheeran's life as he confronts his past and tries to make amends for his actions. Father Brendan represents the possibility of redemption and forgiveness, contrasting with the violent world that Sheeran has inhabited for much of his life. If you are left with the same sense of emptiness that Sheeran felt, then you know it worked here too. While Goodfellas and The Irishman share many similarities as films about organized crime, their distinct approaches to one-shot sequences reveal how Scorsese's filmmaking techniques have evolved over time. Goodfellas' frenetic energy and constant movement reflect the character's desire to keep the action going at all costs. It demonstrates his mastery of camera movement and choreography, as well as his ability to create a sense of excitement and glamour. In The Irishman, it shows his ability to use long takes to create a mood and atmosphere, as well as his willingness to experiment with different styles and techniques. The deliberate pacing and long takes capture the weight of a life lived in regret. Comparing the differences between these two films, you can gain a deeper appreciation for filmmaking and the unique way Scorsese uses camera techniques to tell his tales. Ultimately, both films are a testament to the enduring power of cinema to transport you to other worlds and highlight the human experience in all its complexity. What is your take on Scorsese's evolution as a filmmaker? Which film's one-shot sequence did a better job of immersing you in its world? And if you were to recommend a Scorsese film to someone who has never seen either one, which one would it be?